I'm 52 years old, heading towards 53. And I am told all the time to stop saying my age. Hi, welcome to JLJ This Morning. I'm James Law Jr. I say my age on purpose. I say it all the time because people in this industry and in life make it sound like if I say my age, my real age, there's something wrong with that. I noticed that after I turned in my 40s, this was the chance, the trend, um, to have a internet age. I may be 45, but I'm actually on internet, I am 24. Uh, or, in the in, or in the entertainment industry, which I'm in, to keep it ambiguous, I can, I'm from my 30s to my 60s. But saying your age somehow triggers people to, to have brain raising responses. Some of the responses are, Age nothing by number. Or, um, what's the other one I always get sometimes? I mean, you'll, you'll look your age, which I get that, of course, all the time. But it always seems like there's this thing like to like immediately make me feel better by saying that the age that I am is not a great thing. So, but it's funny, the whole censoring of me saying my age is, is what people make me laugh because it's just like, why would you tell me your age? Why are you proud of the age you are? Well, I'm proud every day I wake up. This is why I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Many times I thought I was not going to be here at this age. So I'm very glad. And as a black man in America, I'm going to be here at this age. But also just living life and all kind of good things, things that have happened to me over the years. I have survived. Um, so I'm really proud of my age. But it's funny, when I was younger, that was no one ever told me, don't say your age. It's almost like when we when you're under 30 or under 40, have your age is a bit. It's like, yeah, I'm 25, I'm 36, I'm 37. Like everybody celebrates that for some reason. But after you get after a certain age, it's like, shh, don't say that. Just quietly age, don't say anything to anybody. Um, dye the gray hairs, you know, all this stuff, you gotta feel the temples, that kind of stuff. So it's probably really interesting. Or people tell me, you know. Not to say it. People actually told me not to say it. So I think it's funny. So now I say it. Or people say to me, why do you always bring up your age? I do it on purpose. Kind of, I just do it on purpose because I want to normalize all ages. I think it's, yeah, it's fun to be young, but you don't stay young forever. And you get a little older. Why not celebrate that? I don't care. I mean, it's the age I'm at. I, I was born in 1969. I'm very proud of that. I, you know, I, I think it's, because I, I was, I want to normalize people just not telling me to stop saying it. I, don't know, I mean, you go online, and I see, I see how everyone's obsessed with beauty, obviously, and beauty is used in most things. That's just, that's just how it is. It's just everything is, especially in certain communities, over a certain age, you're just invisible. Or you're the exception. So I don't know which is worse, being invisible or the exception. The exception. Um, I want to get to a place where we all, if you say an age, it's not a, some hidden secret or some shame behind it. I'm 42. Like, why are we? Why are we whispering that we're that age? Bugs the shit out of me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna use my cuss word today. So James Law Jr. is 52 years old. I'm gonna continue saying it. And then when I'm 53, I'll be 53 years old. And I'm 54, 54 years old. And I'm going to say it. And I'm going to continue using it and continue joking about it and laughing about it and being serious about it. However, I decide to use it um, in a sentence. I'm not going to stop. And by the way, my internet age is also 52.